Let's jump on in here. What's up, Leroy? The Keeper's Tower. That's right, we have double jump. Excellent. Oh, boy. Leroy, what were we doing? Oh my gosh, we have so many skill points. Whenever an enemy takes burn damage, regenerate mana. Ooh, Leroy, additional mana. I like the sound of that. I really like his ignite spell. And the number of attacks keeps going up. I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him ignite level three. Xavier Kugat, the Mambo King. Just yes, long slash. Long slash. Alright, Willie Dubs. Also level nine. Every hit has a chance to chill. Oh man, Willie Dubs is the chillest. Lil Thule. That's right, this is our another source of water and poison damage. I think I want to give him the debuff shield. Seems pretty alright. And Boxatron. Maybe I'll give Boxatron the chance to buff the party. I don't really have any supports right now. On account of how much I really like offense. Maybe I'll just bank Boxatron. I was like, maybe I'll just bonk Banksatron. Okay. Am I allowed in these doors? No. I'm not a keeper seeker yet. I'm not yet a seeker. I'm ready for adventure. Wait, so where can we go now? Leroy. Leroy, I need to talk to you for a second. Will thinks we may be able to find out more about the alchemist if we go to the Stronghold Dungeon. East of the Keeper's Stronghold. East of the Keeper's Stronghold. Okay, let's do it. Into the dungeons. Come on, Leroy! Where's Burb? Alright, Burb, you gotta stay close because I'm gonna need you. Now we have double jump and float, as long as we, if we have Burb in our party. This path leads to the eastern parts of the sanctuary, the stronghold dungeon and stuff. You have beaten enough champion monsters to ascend to Keeper Novice and completed dual training. You've said your metal against monster and Keeper alike, and therefore are ready to face the dungeon stronghold and the ancient woods. You may proceed. Well, thanks. Is that your whole job? Just keep rookies from walking into this zone? Hail, Keeper Novice. Does everyone, does someone just get on the radio? Just like, uh, dollar bills is a novice, over, Shh. Luckily, these cells don't see much use most of the time. Still, should the need arise, me and my trusty monster companion will be ready. A little mushroom dude, huh? You got a little mushroom dude? Any of these cells breakable? Any of these walls? Oh! <laughs> also, you're probably gonna want to get that fixed. Your your dungeon's gonna have a hard time. We found a freaking katana. Katana. That seems like something Xavier Kugat would like, just based on his art. Critical chance plus nine. Critical damage plus fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind if we do. Oh, we need, uh, Schmurples. Man, this dungeon is hard to get out of. Who designed this dungeon to be so hard to get around? Crystal Shard. Oh, that's an escape rope. Nice. Treasure! Grapes. Oh, boy, that is a mechanic I have not been using. The feed your monsters mechanic. Why did I need to come to the dungeons? So I guess we didn't need to go to the dungeon part. We need to go to the... Aha! Villains. Let's see if I can remember how to fight. All offense, all the time. Inflicting burns. This is my... This is what I'm excited about. Long slash. Three out of three critical hits. Alright, Fisto. Put the center dude away. He's gonna take burn damage and die. Mmm! Oh no, you got lightning bolts. Oh jeez. Oh man. What are we going to do with the lightning bolts, you guys? A series of claws. Oh, Xavier Kugat doesn't have enough mana regeneration right now. Freezing punches. Prepare to chill. Claws is actually amazing with Xavier Kugat, since on account of that bonus down. Oh, a Crackle Knight egg. Okay, team. Time to start thinking of names for a Crackle Knight. Oh, one of our frenemies. Hey, Dollar Bills. I knew I heard some footsteps behind me. Looks like you're a Keeper Novice now. That's great. But you do realize that being a Monster Keeper also means you've got some responsibility to take care of the Sanctuary and all the monsters, right? Well, I bet everybody's already told you that. They always put the fate of the whole Sanctuary on our shoulders. Since we're the Spectral Keepers. Anyway, if you've got the time, you should come to the Ancient Woods. The Goblin Tribes have been getting rowdy, and there's rumors of a new Goblin King who's rallying the tribes. 
It's been almost a hundred years since the last time that happened. It was my great-grandmother who beat the Goblin King back then. So I want to see if I can live up to her legacy and boost my rank and save Sanctuary in the process. Can't hurt to have another Spectral Keeper around to, to cleave a path through the bands of goblins. So that's where I'm going. It's just east from here and through some more rooms of the Stronghold Dungeon. See you. So that's our friendly rival. She's the one who's like a combination friend, rival, mentor. Not like the dude with the wolf. Leonard or something. Who is just straight up Gary Oak. All right. Well, I assume I'm going to need... Does anyone do lightning orbs? Let's hatch this Crackle Knight. Wait, what is a Tengu? Oh, it's this mask face guy. Crackle Knight. You're probably not joining the team, Crackle Knight. Hey, Yonder. Good morning. Good morning. Great to see you. Welcome. Yeah, because we already have uh, Fisto doing electric stuff. And we already have Xavier Kugat, the Mambo King, doing slashy stuff. So I am the masked face guy. I can name Tengu Yonder. I'm doing it. Although I don't know if you want to be this guy because he seems kind of redundant with Leroy. Maybe we'll find a different masked face guy for you. We could find you a robot to be. Maybe we'll find some kind of arcane construct or something like that. You know what I can do? I can make this Lil Yonder and then we can find a real one. What is this nightmare? I mean, we're fighting him for sure, but. Long slash. Oh, dang. That dude survived that? That's that's unfortunate. Don't poison Xavier Kugat. Don't. Is he not burnt anymore either? Now he is. It actually seems like I want Leroy to go last. I have Leroy in the front just because he's real sturdy and real good. Wait, is this guy not susceptible to fire? What is this guy susceptible to? Lightning? What? Well, burn him. Fisto's got lightning. Boxatron, I require you and your incredible uh, strength. They put a crack in that wall. You can't just put a crack in that wall. I'm going to slash it. I mean, I'm going to slash most walls anyway. But that one looked particularly slashable. What up? It's me, your boy. So I want to make sure that this guy will succumb to injuries. Oh, I didn't crit that guy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. The one thing that had to happen... It was three out of four chance I would crit that guy. Dang it. What have I done? All right, we'll get the fire claws off of this guy. Oh, he's got flurry of blows. Will that not do it? Unreal. Unreal. Well, I have botched this just a little bit. Oh, uh, Xavier Kugat knows air sickle. That doesn't seem as good. Dude, these grown-up little Thulies are, are strong. And I'm getting armor broken all over the place. Which I am not a fan of. Why? I wonder if I can get my little Thule to grow up into a big Thule. <gasps> level 10. Little Thule is level 10. Oh, look at all these new buttons I have. Enemies with armor break get their critical chance decreased. Interesting. Armor breaks. Regeneration shields. Regeneration can be stacked. What would give him... Oh, when applying a debuff, gain regeneration. Remunerate? Wow, that also seems really good. This guy's a debuffer, though. And these elements aren't the ones we need right now. Earth and water are not the ones we need to be swinging right now. I'm just going to take slime shot level 3 for, for now. Intriguing. I have been barred by a gate on the wrong side of the deal. Wait, can we break a wall from the blue zone? No, from underneath. It has to come from underneath because the treasure is actually... Well, I'm going to check real quick. Hopefully this, this shouldn't be too long of a detour and it might result in treasure. Come on, Xavier Kugat. Need a way to get Xavier Kugat more mana. That's what I did. You copycat. You are a copycat. 
Another monk egg. Oh, level 10 willy dubs. I'm gonna go max chill with willy dubs. I surely checked this. Yeah, there's there's no way I didn't check this stuff already. <laughs> okay, we obviously have already been here because all the treasure chests are looted. Okay, there's some other way to get to that treasure that I've not yet determined. And I have been rebuffed by that direction, so we head east. Two eyes to the east, as Poet Laureate Roddy James Dio once said. I don't have a good thing for Leroy to do right now. I guess applying burns is still good. Oh my gosh, the big Cthulhu guys are so sturdy. All right, let me see how much damage Flurry of Blows does. Oh, none. Flurry of Blows. It is a coup de gras, not a thing to build your strategy around. He should burn to death. That's a weird sentence. But he did. I mean, that was a strategy. Is it a war crime? Maybe. Am I going to get hauled to the Hague? I got to hand it to Fisto. He's actually doing really well batting clean up for us. Okay, that was better. That was that felt stronger. That yeah, I'll take a three star on that one. Two Lovecraftian nightmares. All right, I'd like more area of effect attacks. Gosh, would I rather have a shred neutral physical one or a flame strike? I guess right now Leroy's physical attack is higher, so I'll take the shred first. And Fisto hits level ten. I want critical mass, but Fisto's critical chance is only forty percent. <laughs> 